Hi everyone, my name is Bevek and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second episode to create an education website using Jar Foundation. In the previous episode, we created a new project using Foundation CLI. And today, we'll work on this header and navigation. First of all, remove all of this content and instead add simple content say main content in as one tag so open your text editor click on source pages and index.html you can then select everything remove add as one tag and write main content now open your foundation website Go to Docs and Site Docs. Click on Installation. And since we are using this Zerp template, we got option to use this HTML template with a library called Panini. Now let's see how to use them. Open your text editor again, and this time, open your Parcels folder. Right click and click on this new file. You can create header.html. Inside this S1 tag, you can write header. Now, since we have a Nini, we can import this header inside default.html inside this layout folder. We want to show header above this body content, so you can copy this code and paste it above body you can then call it header and you can also add main tag for this body if you want now let's check the side and you can see header at top and our body content at the bottom now this header can be reused in other pages like about, contact and so on, thanks to Panini. Now let's work on the actual header and navigation code. So open your text editor again, go to header.html and first add header id header. Then let's add foundation grid for 100% width which is div class row and div class columns now go back to your foundation website click on navigation top bar and let's use this advanced layout so copy all of this code and paste it inside this columns div now check your site and if you compare it to our original design we don't need this search bar so let's remove the search bar and instead let's add this navigation in right hand side over here so go back to your header.html again remove the code for search and let's add the anchor tag for navigation we have got five different navigation so you can copy it five more times we don't have any page for the time being so let's just use the hashtag the first link is home then we got about gallery FAQ and contact Check the site again you can see navigation on the right hand side now let's remove this navigation and for the site title we have to add education and a font awesome icon so go back to your header.html remove all of this li remove this drop down menu and for the class let's use logo and inside ally 
with the class menu text let's add the anchor tag we don't have any link at the moment so let's use hashtag and the text will be education take a side and you can see education over here now let's add this font awesome icon so let's search for font awesome you can search book and then we are using this icon so click on it copy the HTML code and you can paste it over here check your site and you can see logo and navigation over here now the only thing missing is the style so let's add SCSS from my github account so open my github account I have also added this link in the description below so you can check them and then click on source assets SCSS and global now for the time being we have to copy everything from this common.scss and header.scss let's start with common.scss so copy all of this style and then open your text editor go to assets scss global and inside global you can create a new file call it underscore common dot scss you can paste all the style then again click on global and this time copy all of this header style so copy everything and then again create new file underscore header dot scss and then paste it over here now we have to import this common and header inside this app.scss so open them and over here you can use import and our scss is inside global folder so you can add global slash common likewise you can import header as well and finally we have also used this foundation flex grid so you can uncomment this include now check your site and your header is looking exactly the same as in our design great this is the end of this session in the next session, we'll work on this hero using orbit component. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Also please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials in the future. Thank you.